Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ashley and I am here with you today to share this beauty that I have just finished. Um, this is a custom ordered journal for my um, newfound friend. Um, she is from Australia. Um, so I... Uh, what can I even say about this? Okay, so initially she... Um, messaged me on Facebook. That's how she found me. And she said, hi, I'm interested in an Outlander journal. Can you help me out? And I was like, a what? Like, <laughs> I had saw this show being advertised. I had seen the advertisement, but I had never watched it. And so when I thought that's what she was talking about, and after asking her a few questions and everything, I figured out that it indeed was the show Outlander. And then I started watching it because when I create, um, especially if it's a custom journal, it's very important to me to capture the vision of the person who wants the journal. <clears throat> Obviously, I want it to be everything they've dreamed it to be. And so I, excuse me, <coughs> oh, I have like stuff stuck in my throat from all of this coffee I just drank. Anyways, um. I really tried to get my head around the theme, and so I started watching the show, and oh my gosh, I just fell in love with it. I am still watching it. I'm currently on season four. There's five seasons out right now, and they're making another one. I just can't deal with it. Okay, but anyways, she is a chunky baby. Now, when I open her up, you're going to see just how chunky she is. She does have this closure. Now, when you are using this... Um, I'm not going to say her name just in case she doesn't want me to, but it, when you are using this, I would suggest that you do use this extra ribbon in, unless you take some things out of it just to add some added support um, because this closure here, it has plenty of slack, so you have plenty of room, but that's a lot of strain to be putting on this inside cover. Um, it's just a lot of strain to be putting on it because it's so heavy and it wants to come out, right? So with any kind of closure like this, I would just use the extra added support so it kind of cinches it in before you latch it. Like as you can see, like the latch um, is fine. Um, and now I've, done, I've gotten it stuck onto this which is lovely um but as you can see like the latch is perfectly fine and it has plenty of room so it even has extra room as you can see to go beyond that point but just just to add some extra support to it i just think that this ribbon closure just helps it out a lot um that way she doesn't have like so much strain being put on her um so anyways it does have this closure with the latch i think that is so pretty i love the color of the metal um i think that's really pretty and nice i like that a lot um these are tim holtz no i'm lying I think they're Tim Holtz latches. I could be telling you a complete lie. It could be like the spare parts from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure which one this one is. <clears throat> and I just threw the packaging away, so I can't remember which one it is. I, I think it's the spare parts, but it could indeed be Tim Holtz. I don't remember. Um, and then it just has this metal piece on the outside. I really wanted to keep this a classic front cover. Um, it has um, some lace on the spine and then underneath it has this old worn spine book feel with um, three signatures straight stitched onto the spine um, and then the back is just the leather and the lace so I'm flip flopping this tassel all around it does have a removable tassel so you can remove this um, and it has lots of trim and lace and eyelash trim um these remind me of the gemstones um that you use when you travel through the stone i don't want to ruin the show for anybody but it's an amazing show i also included this you can put something inside you can put a picture in there um whatever you wish i almost put a picture in there of jamie but i decided not to um <clears throat> but this just reminded me with a crown on the top of all of the dealings that they have with the crown and all of the people who sit upon it um, within the story. And then it has a lot of ribbons and lace um, and trims. And then there are 
several charms in here. Let's find some. Um, this just reminded me of the luggage that she's constantly traveling back and forth and to and fro. Um, <clears throat> this postcard, it says, I love you. It reminded me of the letter that Brianna writes to Roger. Um, it, she didn't write it on a postcard, but it does remind me of that. And so that's why I put it on there. Let's see, there's two more. This reminds me of the airplane, the toy airplane that Roger found. That was his. And then, where is the other one? I know there's another one. I don't know where they are, but I know they're here. And then this just reminded me of like prison cell keys. Um, so I put them on here as well. So stinking cute. Not that prison cell keys are cute, but they are really cute. Because as we all know, Jamie finds himself there on more than one occasion. But anyways, it is on a um, removable clip that you can put onto the spine. Okay, now let's open this baby up. So if you open the ribbon, and my hands are so shaky, so it's hard for me to do this steady handed. Um, this, this lace ribbon is um, coffee stained. And now I've got it stuck on the clasp. It is um, coffee stained and distressed. Um, so you get that really nice coffee staining on there. And it's um, inked a bit as well. So I think that's super pretty. And then when you open her up. Oh my goodness, look at that. Paper Outpost calls it a gator mouth. Look at that gator mouth. Holy moly, look at her. Whew, she's, she's a beauty. All right, you open her up, you have this really beautiful paper that I love. Um, I put lots of different trims on here. I had to pause it so I could cough. I don't want you to think I have the virus, because <laughs> I most certainly do not. But I drank this entire huge thing of coffee and the sugar in it, it just had so much sugar in it and it's made this like syrupy film in my throat driving me bonkers I need some water okay so I made a pocket so cute I really love this paper um I tried to kind of go into chronological order but as you know there's so much back and forth and different time periods that this journal was super challenging at first when I first realized the synopsis of the show I was like holy crap how am I going to put that and encompass it in one journal and that's why she's so big because once I fell in love with the show I just kept adding and adding and adding and believe it or not I actually took two signatures out of this journal I was like, holy crap. I told my husband, how in the flipping crap am I going to fit all of this in one book? And I had to take two signatures out. I was so sad <laughs> to take those out. I made some hard decisions. But anyways, here is an envelope in the pocket. It does have a pocket in the front. And then, of course, it is a functioning envelope as well. It has um, some journaling cards and some writing paper inside. And I am going to try to take all of this out because I want her to see it before I send it to make sure she is happy. So I want her to get the gist of everything that's going on. So this might be a long video. Let's go get you some coffee and make yourself have sugary coughs. Um, here is a little tuck spot here and then a tuck spot behind here. Some journaling cards in there. I really love this one. Lots of writing space. I tried to fit the writing space in because holy moly. Um, this really reminds me of like the train that she has to get on when she leaves Frank and goes off to be a nurse in the war. So I put that on there. Love it. Um, this little leaf is so pretty. It's velvet with some lace trim on it and it just has some journaling cards and an index card on it. Some writing space for you there. And here is a pocket. So it is a pocket on the side here. And I think there's something in there as well. There's lots of stuff everywhere, you guys. Oh my gosh, I filled this too full. Okay, I didn't put anything on the inside. All right, and so you can stick this inside of the pocket as well. And it just has some writing paper in there, sewn in. And then a little tag. I told you my hands are shaky. They really are. It's rather ridiculous. I need to 
is ridiculous, actually. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Just some embellishments here that kind of reminded me of the time that they are in. Super pretty. Really love that. And then this can just tuck behind there. I made that flower so that it has like a little tuck space that you can tuck that back behind there. Some tracing paper with some stamping. I love the crinkle of this. It is my favorite sound. Um, some coffee dyed paper. I love how this dyeing turned out. This was like one of my favorite that I had coffee dyed notebook paper. This batch just turned out so pretty with lots of different colors. Um, it just has some fabric and some old book page and some scraps on there with a blue paper clip. I really love those metallic paper, I mean paper clips, staples. And I'm going to run out of them soon. Um, on here is a little ribbon kind of tucked away back there. Um, it does have a pocket here, but then when you pull out the ribbon, it does unfold into this marvelous fold out of loveliness. So you have a pocket here, journaling card inside, you have some journaling cards in here, this little pocket. Can I get it back in there? Yes. A little tuck here with this butterfly, and then you have a pocket here as well and then the pocket behind it. And then it just accordion style folds right back in there and I have flipped it so many times that it really does sit fat, flat and pretty. Here's Crane of June. So pretty, I love the sketch of it. It just looks really clean and pretty. So this is like when she first sees it. Um, a receipt, a little tag, journaling card there, backed with some really pretty paper. <clears throat> here is an envelope attached here to, it is a functioning envelope but back there. Um, this is a tuck spot on the front of the envelope and then you have a little tuck here. The little seed packet, I love this paper, the texture of it is amazing, it just feels wonderful. So I've made just a little seed packet envelope out of that. Sticks right back there somewhere, if I can get it to stick again. What is happening to my life? Okay. <laughs> um, and then this is when she goes to touch the stone for the first time. So this is Claire. Isn't she lovely? And then you pull this back and you have a library tag with this little library tag envelope. And then you have a little pocket here, a journaling card and some writing space there. Here's a little tiny pocket with a tag inside. Here's a little envelope that you can stick a tag into as well. And here's a little seed packet envelope. I don't think I made this into a pocket. I have to check because I'm a pocket crazy person. Yep, see? So there's a pocket there this little velvet leaf and then inside you have a little book here that is sewn with some eyelash trim and some graph paper inside like i said i tried to add in a lot of writing space because this book is just so full some more coffee dyed paper coffee dyed tracing paper um here's a lot of different little pockets with a lot of different goodies inside pocket here. This is a quote from Jamie. I, that's what marriage is good for. It makes a sacrament out of things you'd otherwise have to confess. Love that. So I included that quote. Um, here's a tag. Here's another tag. With some brown paper on the back. That was not meant to be in there. Um, here is a little booklet with some trim. And some writing paper inside. Plenty of writing paper in there. And how did I have this in here? Who knows? Who knows? Stick it all in. I love these hearts. I think they're so pretty. And um, here's just little greenery. I think these are so gorgeous. I wish I could buy like 50 packs of them. 
Um, this says um, Undertaker Coffins, Casket Burial Robes. This is from the hardware stove. This reminded me of when she got that stove and it kept, like, she was trying to light the burner after she had come back um, for the first time. Like, she came back to her time and then she was trying to get their stove to work out of that new house and she ended up just cooking on the fire. That's what that reminded me of. Like I said, I tried to go in order, but some things are a little bit out of order. Here's some writing space. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a graft. It's really cute. And one of my favorite characters, Bertha. I love him. I just love his character so very much. So I just put him on here. Plenty of writing space on the back. Stuck him in there because every journal needs merch on it. Perhaps not every journal. That would be a little strange, but this one for sure needed him in it. So I stuck him in there. I love him. He's one of my favorite characters for sure. All right, here's some writing space with some old coffee dyed book page. A wooden piece here. Some trim. You can see this big fat pocket we're opening up into. Has a homemade journaling card tag. Um, just some more writing space. Some um, ink stained card there to write on. And then, so this is a pocket here, and then you have this pocket, this pocket, and this pocket. So all of them are pockets. I can't show you this one because I don't have, let's see, I can do it with this guy. Let's see, here you have a pocket. That whistling sound is my husband in the garage making the water whistle. Where did I get this from? Here we go. And then um, a journaling card. And then that goes in this pocket. And then in this pocket we have a wooden tag. Lots of goodies in here. A thistle plant, which I love. I think thistles are so beautiful. I love when they are purple. So pretty. And then it flips back up with a little pocket there. It says happiness blooms from within. Love that. And that is the end of the first signature. And this is a pocket as well. Second signature just has some little fabric -y bits and a, a little tag. Um, I kept this blank for writing space. <laughs> imagine that. Writing space in a journal. Could you imagine? Here's a little pocket here. And if you open up the pocket, it is this tiny little baby journal with some paper inside. Super cute. And it just fits right back into its little plaid sleeve here. Got that going on. Got to put that back in there. <clears throat> and then we have some more rece a receipt. And then you just have some paper to write on. And then it's a double pocket. So here's a pocket. Here's a pocket, or tuck spot, rather. You guys know I don't do terms very well. I just say what comes out of my mouth. It's whatever pops into my brain. That's what I say out loud. Um, here, clipped onto this is a, another envelope. And it has a pocket on the front, of course, because I'm all about the pockets, y'all. Anything to shove more goodies inside. That's me. I'm all about it. And it just has this really pretty tree image on there, some more plants, and then it has this journaling card with a pocket. It's distressing. Do you see how pretty that shine is? Love that ink. And then this little plant with the twine, and it is of course a pocket as well, with a little graph paper tag. <coughs> And then it just fits back into here. Oops. And then when I took the paper clip off, all this came unclipped. Just have a little tag with some brown paper on the back and then some writing space. Come on, fit in there. Okay, thank you. We have this pocket here. 
the little tag. This is your moment journaling card. I love that background. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is just a notebook. That's in there. Um, there's this is made into a pocket. This is like a little tip and flip. And you see this countryside. See the mom and her babies, and they're taking care of the there's a dog and a sheep, perhaps. Cows. So pretty. It reminded me of Fraser's Ridge, even though it's like this would be the ridge overlooking all of this, but that's just what it reminded me of. I think it's really pretty. Happiness blooms from within. You have the seed packet, and it has another notebook in it. And journaling card little tech spot with some journaling cards in here some scrappy paper to write on a laugh is a smile that bursts that's one of my favorite things ever I love that quote I love these butterflies too I could have like a thousand of these journaling cards and it would never be enough I also love how those colors go together you know like me and that nature theme is all about um, this reminded me again of their numerous run-ins with the crown and it has Claire's absolutely gorgeous wedding dress I looked this up and they are selling like uh, replicas for like cosplay and things like that on Etsy for um, like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. Like, oh my gosh! And they are so gorgeous. I almost just want one so I can dress like that and look in the mirror because it's so beautiful. I was born for a, for a different time, you guys. I can appreciate other time periods so well. I love this trim. I feel like it's so fitting because it's just thick. It reminds me of like just being out in the wilderness. And then it has some ego dyed paper. This print came out really well. Ego dyeing is so much fun. It's a little daunting to me because of the processes, but um, I wanna try it with some different plants. Some coffee dyed paper here. Um, I, oh, by the way, I always leave the middle of my signatures long, like the strings long, in case you want to add some charms or, or different beads or different things in the bottom. This trim is one of my favorites. It's a new one that I got and I absolutely adore it. Oh, just look at that coffee dyeing. It just turned out so pretty. I just love that. The other side of that eco dye. Look at this leaf print that came out. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can see like the stem of the leaf. You can see like some of the imprints. I love it. Okay, so clipped on here is yet another envelope. I love these florals. I don't think I made this one in a pocket. Nope, miraculous, it did not. Has little space to write on the top with just some journaling cards inside. This reminded me of the time in France. We went to France some scrappy paper to write on. Oh, it goes the other way. Come on, Ashley, get it right. Um, here's a side tuck with another quote. This one's from Dougal. He'd not be cruel to you, and he's a bonny fighter with very good reason to hate Randall. Nay, marry him, he'll fight to his last breath to protect. First of all, I love that accent. I think it is absolutely beautiful. The Gaelic language is beautiful to me. Ugh. And then you have this one with a collage of all kinds of little pockets. So you have a tuck here. It's like a belly band tuck that you can stick in. And the way I had it was, it's just a journaling card that says meant to be. I had it tucked into this pocket as well. So it's kind of just tucked away in there. Look at this trim. Oh. I am obsessed with the new trims that I got. I got a lot of new trims for this journal especially, and I am obsessed with them. Um, this just kind of reminded me of all of the things that go on, like all the different little shops that you can go into and all the different things that they pretend work. <laughs> 
Dr. Balsam's elixir for the complexion, guaranteed glowing skin after two weeks. Like, it just reminds me of all the little shots that they have. And it also reminds me of the stuff that she collects to, like, make medicines out of. Um, she's got little resources, but she puts them to use and actually figures out really good uses for things. Um, tucked inside of this little hidden pocket is an envelope. It says, I love you, because, yeah, that's what the show is all about, right? And then you have, like, this writing space it's really crinkly coffee dyed writing space here with some journaling cards inside lots of goodies hidden everywhere i just couldn't help myself i i mean i knew i needed to stop putting things inside but i was like you know i just can't just kept putting more and more and more and you can take all of this out like if you don't want your journal to be so stuffed you can totally take this stuff out use it in a different journal use it somewhere else that is perfectly fine. I just, I wanted you to have plenty of pretty things to play with. Um, here's another one of those seed envelopes. I just hand stitched around it. I wanted it to be super rough stitched. Um, here's a ink stained index card that you can certainly write on. Another one of those receipts. And then it just has this little scrappy piece of loveliness on there and then it is a double tuck with that book page peeking out from behind Oops. did I unclip something and not click it back no okay here's a tuck spot here it's actually a double tuck so it just looks like this with two different tuck spots with a tag and some journaling cards there Um, here's another little tuck, and it has some journaling cards in it, and another receipt. <clears throat> here's a little tuck here as well. You can put a tag in there. And I was like, I'm obviously missing something. Here's a library card and pocket, and it's a little pocket on the side as well. You know, I can't resist just adding pockets. Pockets, pockets everywhere. And this is a side tuck as well, so you could stick something in there. And it folds out to a beautiful sketch of Jamie and Claire. So pretty. Um, this is just a envelope, and it has the world's view in there. It, <clears throat> this is not from the years that they were from, but I just thought it was interesting because they do travel so much to put that in there. That you can put anything you want in there and that's the end of the second signature so now we're going into the third i thought that was so cool that it said that i know it's not spelled correctly but i just thought that was cute you have that you have this hidden pocket here oops this journaling card and another little scrappy coffee dyed booklet And then you have little pockets with tags, little scrappy tags in there, another one as well, and then a um, little plaid pocket, it's a double pocket, and has a little booklet of little scrap paper in there. Um, here's a take this off this little scrappy um journaling card a big mama journaling card with some coffee dyed paper on the back and then it just says in the fairy ring um because they have such superstitions about fairies and things like that and it has a pocket inside and then it has another picture of jamie and claire with some book page on the back so you can write on this space Little computer. Um, here's an upward tuck with a fabric little booklet and some paper. And then some uh, specimens of handwriting. <clears throat> and then you have a Jamie journaling card. I kind of thought of this as like she's remembering him Trying to keep the memory of what he looks like. Gather moments along the way. 
there's a calendar it's 1916 so I know that's like after her time and I mean after his time and before hers but I just thought it was interesting um, stamped flower on there you have this little garganza bag it just has some little bits and scrappy paper in it and you can tuck something behind there as well if you want just tie the bag up and then it has this little butterfly tuck with some paper scraps behind there and then it has a journaling card and a fairy book with some writing paper in there and then this dress form it reminded me when she was making her um her scottish garb or her <laughs> her 18th century garb to go back in time with some brown paper on the back to go back and find Jamie. It's a top loading pocket here. I really love top loading pockets. Some more eco dyed paper and look how pretty these flowers pressed and turned out. Super pretty. <clears throat> Here's another little scrappy and you can like tear these off and use them if you want. There's another little pocket with some tags inside and this heart. <clears throat> some tracing paper. This kind of reminded me of um, just the city where she lived in Boston. It says be kind. You can tuck something up in there if you want. This is a pocket. Um, the palm reading just reminds me of when she was fortune telling to find Jamie with Myrta. Tag. Some writing paper. The music reminds me of that trip as well. And this just says Boston 99 cent store because Boston is where she and Frank lived. And here is a heart. It's on a brad, so you can move these around. Uh, the wind fairies and other tales, again, just because they are so superstitious with fairies and things like that. There's a pocket on the back with a journaling card and some scraps. And then inside is some coffee stained paper with some stamping on it. And then a journaling card with some brown paper on the back. And then some writing space as well. Lots of hidden and interesting goodies that you can use. Um, this is them on the farm. Perhaps it's Roger and Brianna waving at them, leaving their farm. Journaling cards. This pocket. And then this is Jamie and Claire in the woods, just enjoying the nature. The journaling spot in there. Um, this is a Gaelic quote. I love you and I always will. I love like this misty fog. Some writing space there. Some more trim. And a pocket. This is Claire. Has the artist at the bottom. Even when I purchase prints, I really try to not cut that part off if I can help it where they assign their signature. And this is another pocket. So you have lots of pockets that you can add things, you can take things away, make it smaller um, if you want. There's some more writing space. Um, I would just really suggest that you use that ribbon on the outside just so you don't put so much strain on the latch. I mean the latch is good and sturdy, but if you just put so much strain on it and it's just pulling and pulling. You know, even if you bought a book from the store, eventually the strain would... I thought that was cute. Um, would stress the book out. 
So I just want to make sure that doesn't happen. So I would just suggest, since it is so large, to just use that. This doily can come off. It is coffee dyed and burnt. It is beautiful. I love the way that turned out. I wish I had a bunch of them like this. And that little plant with the plaid pocket that I love. I love the way this feels too. Some journaling cards, a tag, some writing space here. Um, and then you have this file folder with some more coffee dyed writing space and some more journaling cards. Just all kinds of loveliness in here. <laughs> They're playing in there and a lark's giggling. I love giggles. Some more eco dyed paper. Um, here is a double tuck, and in this double tuck is some journaling cards here. Love is all you need. Here is just a little collaging. And another library card pocket here. Some more tags and journaling cards and places to write. Um, here's just a little bit more bits, witch hazel, and some more writing paper. And then, of course, the envelope has stuff in it as well, because why not? Just stuff it full. <laughs> it's obviously what I did with this journal. Here is another pocket. And here is the last page, just hand-stitched a pocket on there. And then more writing space. I thought the forget-me-not was appropriate. Just a little tag with some trim. And there is the back inside cover and then you see your latch i really love this latch i think that this is so pretty with the lace on it i just love it okay so there she is in all her lovely chunky glory i think she is gorgeous and beautiful and lovely i loved working on this project very very much um, this one is already sold. Like I said, it was a custom order, but if you would like to um, purchase a custom order, then definitely message me. I will also leave my shop in the description down below. You can look at ones that I have already made, and then you can also message me there if you wish to um, put in for a custom order. And I will leave my email down as well, and you can put in for there um, for a custom order. So. There's lots of ways to contact me, but I've really loved working on this project and it was super fun. I also am super glad that I did this project and I can't find the hole. I'm just not finding the latch hole there. There we go. Um, I'm super glad that she asked for this project because I love the show and I'm so glad that I found it. So I hope that you loved this. Um, definitely let me know your feedback. You know who you are. Like I don't like giving customers information unless they choose to comment down below and give it themselves. But um, I truly appreciate you um, ordering this. It was a lot of fun to work on and I can't wait for you to get your hands on it and see her. Um, as you can see, there's lots of fun things poking from the sides and the top. Super fun. And that is it until next time. I have some more journals that I'm working on. It's like an old vintage farmhouse theme. So I should be able to share those within the next couple of weeks. Um, but for now, I am going to um, get this one sent off to its owner. So thank you so very much um, for watching. Like I said, I will leave ways to get in touch with me down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.